Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So those who do not want to face the truth, please do not continue to watch this video. So today I'd like to share with you a very important topic and that is time to clean up Wing Chun history. So often there are Wing Chun friends ask me why don't I write a Wing Chun history book since there are so many uh, Wing Chun history books out there and why don't I write one. And uh, yesterday there's another friend say would it be possible to write one last book this time on the history of Wing Chun. Well, proper Wing Chun history information have already been shared in this channel and in my books. So there is no need to write a book for the Wing Chun history. Now, today's video, this video will further share more information so that we all know what is going on. It is a time for Wing Chuners drop the mess of uh, distorted Wing Chun history. So, today's general Wing Chun history information are very problematic. What typical Wing Chun history information are mostly based on hearsay, speculation which does not make sense, contradictions, and people make it due to whatever reasons. And that might be due to their ignorance or due to any agenda. So I'm going to share with you a few uh, history cases so that you understand what is going on and you know what to look for to know is it a legit Wing Chun history or not. Now, before I go into that, we need to look into the signature of anti-Qing Chinese martial arts. In the southern China, Wing Chun is an anti-Qing martial arts and uh, another very well-known anti-Qing Chinese martial art is Choi Lei Fat, Hong Sing Choi Lei Fat. And all of those anti-Qing Chinese martial art, they all have the common denominator signature. Okay, so the signature is number one, they can clearly tell you when and where their art exists and uh, who taught whom. The second is identity, because they are anti-Qing, they belong to different anti-Qing group, they will have their identity or salutations. So when they group with the anti-Qing people, they show their salutation and other anti-Qing members know who they are. And the third thing is the uniqueness. Okay? So alleged anti-Qing Chinese martial art have this signature. When and where, clearly, the salutation identity clearly and uniqueness clearly presented. For example, for Hong Sing Choi Lei Fat, this is the uh, poem of Anti Ching. This is a part of the uh, uh, poem. Okay, this is in their gesture. So, that is their identity. Their identity here. Now, 
if we check into the history, we know that Hong Sing Chai Le Fat exists in the 1850s. They support the Taiping uh, uprising. So by history, you can check them. Also, we can see the uniqueness of Choi Lei Fat even today. So, for today, if you go to ask a legit former Choi Lei Fat practitioner, they can tell you all of this. Okay? They know where and when. They, uh, the, 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 uh, their founder uh, founded the Choi Lei Fat. They have the uh, salutations or their identity in the anti Ching. They have their uniqueness. Well, it doesn't matter which martial arts. All have to have this in order to, uh, to, to, to have a clear description of the martial arts. Wing Chun is no different. We know that now we can link up Wing Chun to 1850s, the uh, Fine Jade uh, Opera Association's uprising or Red Boat uprising. We know the uh, salutation, which is it is a female art, it is an anti Qing. This is the opera salutations based on the male play female role. So this is the salutations. Like for example, the Choi Lei Fat gesture, Wing Chun have his gesture. And well, Wing Chun is named as Sticking Body Short Strike. Well, that is how it is, the uniqueness. So it doesn't matter if it is uh, Wing Chun or Hong Sing Choi Lei Fat. It has all the signature. Only you have the signature, you can clearly describe what is what. Now, in Wing Chun history today, let's get look into a different history cases here. Now, like this one, is well known. Uh, Wing Chun history, he said that, oh, uh, Wing Chun's, uh, Ying Ying Chun's, uh, husband, Liang Bok Lao, who is the uh, anti Qing warrior. Then in the Fine Jade, then he taught the Fine Jade, uh, uh, Opera Association's member, such as the uh, Wong Wa Po and Lok Gam or Tai Fa Ming Gam and so forth. So, uh, Wing Wing Chun's uh, husband thought the opera uh, uh, associations or the actor in the uh, Red Boat Opera, namely Wong Wa Po and uh, Tai Fa Ming Gam or Lok Gam. Okay, and this this mem this is other member of the uh, Fine Jade uh, Opera Associations. And from here we know that Wong Wa Po is uh, playing the uh, Chinese uh, historical hero, uh, Guan Gong. And then this uh, Tai Fa Ming Gam playing Zhang Fei, okay, the Chinese uh, historical hero. Now there's a problem here. Wing Chun is a female art. Everybody know that Wing Chun is a female art, right? And we know that Wing Chun is a female role art in the fine jade. Okay? How come over here you have only the male actor? And the another question is, where is the salutation show the art's identity? How come Wong Wa Po, uh, Tai Fa Ming Gam, and all those do not pass down the salutation or identity 
Where else you go to all the Hong Sing Choi Lei Fat Kun related school? Or everybody have this? Okay? Now, you got a problem. Is this a rigid history? Or is this just a speculation? Which is, really, there is no evidence to show that this is really happening. Okay? That's case one. Identity. What is your identity? You say that you are anti-Ching. You say that it is a female art and uh, it's from the red boat and so forth, so forth. Well, show me the identity. Okay? Or else, how can you survive in the 1850s with the Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat uh, and the other anti-Qing. If you don't have the identity, you don't have the salutation, who knows who are you in that really chaotic situations? Okay? Now, case two. Historic case two. So he said that Liang Bok Lao, the uh, husband of Ying Yun Chun, teaching Tai Fa Ming Gam or Lok Gam, and then Lok Gam went ahead, taught a person named Feng Xiu Cheng. Well, guess what? Feng Xiu Cheng is a Qing, a Manchuria, the, 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 the Qing dynasty, the official. Okay? And if you look at here in the writing, they are related to Zhen Guofan, the Qing general who uh, lead the war anti uh, lead the war to uh, to 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 fight against the uh, the the anti Qing the Taiping and uh, the the Red Boat uprising. Zhen Guofan, okay. Zhen Guofan have a nickname. It's called Zhen Ti Tou. He is famous in uh, sadistically killing. Whoever the anti Qing is, read the Chinese history. Now, you got a problem. Anti Qing, Tai Fa Ming Gam, teaching Qing officer on Feng Xiu Qing on Wing Chun. You must be kidding. At that time, 1858 uh, era, we need to know that. The Fine Jade uh, Associations, the King Fa Hui Gun, was uh, was uh, was shut down in 1854. What at uh, in the time when the uprising, the Red Boat uprising, lost. So in the 1854, they start the uprising. They lost, and then the uh, the, the the entire uh, opera association been shut down. Okay. So the question now uh, here is that where the world is uh, the Tai Fa Ming Gam go teach a, a a a Qing official in the middle of that uprising and everything. Is that possible? Not to mention if you show this right away. You get killed, okay? You get you get executed right away because you are anti Qing. So this is another history of it is a mess, okay? Somebody just make things up for whatever reason. The third thing say this has come to America, okay? And here it said again uh Yim Yi Gong later went on to teach his daughter and the man who would eventually become his son-in-law, Leong Chi Lao, sometimes referred to as Leong Bok Lao. So this is Leong Bok Lao. We talk about Leong Bok Lao here, Wing Chun's, Wing Chun's husband. Now, Leong Bok Lao or Leong Chi Lao also taught a few well-known and highly skilled Wing Chun practitioners such as Dai Fa Ming Gam, okay? this guy who taught uh, the, 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 the 
Manchurian or the Qin official, and his nephew Liang Zhan. Okay, and then he said, "Well, the story suggests that、uh, Doctor Liang Zhan was taught by Wang Wabo and Liang Hitai." Okay, up to now. You continue on. Doctor Liang Zhan was born in eighteen sixty, and died in nineteen forty six. Now, for heaven's sake, the anti Qing laws in the uprising in the eighteen fifties, right? Say eighteen fifty four, they start uprising and they they lost it. Then this get banned out, and then the uh. The uh the 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 uprising Wing Chun ancestor either they they die or they get killed in the in the battle or they run away. Now Liang Zhan was born in nineteen eighteen sixty, and then here it mentioned Dai Fa Ming Gam and uh Wing Chun's uh, uh husbands is teaching them. So let's get this this timeline straight. When did Liang Zhan study Wing Chun from Wing Chun's husband, the anti Qing warrior? Is it after eighteen fifty four? Oh, obviously, Liang Zhan here is saying that it is uh he is uh uh he was born eighteen sixty and but the entire anti Qing is gone in the mid mid uh uh eighteen hundred uh eighteen yeah mid eighteen hundred. So, so Liang Zhan was born after the 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 uprising and so forth. So, if you say that、uh, Liang Zhan、uh, say he is a super kid, he he start his Wing Chun training、uh, at the age of ten. Say he is a super kid. That will get into nine eighteen sixty plus ten. It will be eighteen seventy. Well. The war, the anti Qing is long gone. Okay. So, so how does this happen? Again, the time do not add up. Now, so today's Wing Chun, you left a lot of bits and pieces scattering around, which is need to be clarified, including even technical stuff. Like I make a video the other day, ancient Wing Chun is well defined technology, not a concept like today's Asia or version nineteen sixty Wing Chun. All this concept, you no, know, that's why I explain what is they in here. Ancient Wing Chun martial art is not a collection of movement or techniques which open to or open for random interpretation. Uniqueness define the purpose of movement and techniques. So unless one know the uniqueness, one will not be able to know what is this. This is、uh, what is this is is about. So again, if you look at that, the identity is not clear. Here, again, the identity. The the anti Qing and Qing whatever everybody just make up whatever they like, and then here the the what is the timeline? It doesn't match up, and all of those, all of those case one, case two, case three, which is the typical、uh, typical case, have never talk about the uniqueness of the uh the the Wing Chun. Everybody, you know, you go to movie and everybody、uh, in the website they are called sticking body short strike. But did anybody really like us in United States define show by evidence what the heck it is? Shoot in and st-、uh, sticking fighting? No, zero. Okay. So for past one hundred twenty years, it's like that. Now, if you look into the Hong Sing Choi Lei Fat. People is really clear in their timeline, in their salutations, and in their uniqueness. When people using their Choi Lei Fat in their training and their fight, you know that that's Choi Lei Fat. Okay, that's clean. Okay, now, so that's the mess in the Wing Chun history. 
And there are one other thing which is add into the even mess today, okay, or in the past uh, few decades. And that is Asia Kung Fu Masters playing expert to distort Wing Chun history. Asia Kung Fu Grandmaster, they actually look down on Wing Chun and Wing Chun GM. Okay? So you say, well, Hendrik, you say this. Do you have evidence? Sure. There's a book here saying this. This is a book, okay? Published book. Saying that is that Wing Chun or Wang Chun, that is just name. Okay? It doesn't matter whether this is a proper or not proper name. As soon as it is uh, famous, everybody well known, uh, that, is, that is good enough. There is uh, no questions on either it is a proper or not proper. So this is mean that you can be bastard, okay? For Chinese, this is a, a very deep insult. Okay, it is saying that your mom have you from other men, not your father. That's how it is. And then he said here, you look at uh, Bruce Lee. How many Wing Chuners uh, make their living uh, based on Bruce Lee? And then asking, uh, so how is the king of Kung Fu's uh, 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 Kung Fu? So this is actually very uh, putting down an insult to Wing Chun practitioner. And over here, this is to pick at uh, Yip Man, Grandmaster Yip Man. Over here, because Yip Man, Grandmaster Yip Man have wrote that uh, Wing Chun is from Shaolin, Songsan Shaolin. And uh, here is in his book, uh, there's a book, uh, Yip Man Biography, okay? Then this guy is saying that, uh, this guy uh, who published the book is writing here. If I say that, if I tell you that uh, Wing Chun is from Song San, do you believe? Isn't it that uh, Wing Chun is from uh, Shaolin, Fujian Shaolin and based on the Mui Si Tai? Okay, so he his idea is he take the story of uh, Wing Chun is from Fujian Shaolin based on Mui is proper, and then uh, Wing Chun from Song San, which is ba- uh, according to Grandmaster Yip Man, is wrong. Okay, and here he continue on saying that. Uh, trying to reason that, saying that Southern Saulis is from Song San, and then uh, at the end he concludes that he say, oh, Shaolin, uh, the, the, the Kung Fu, the, the, the Kung Fu, uh, the Kung Fu in China is based on Shaolin, and then Shaolin is uh, from uh, India. He said, oh, this is right, but this is not the fact. Okay, the, the, the logic, this is uh, sounds right, but this is not the fact. So this entire thing, you know, just cut it short. It is trying to say that, hey, Grandmaster Yit Man don't know what he's talking about. The, uh, the, the Shaolin is from Fujian uh, Shaolin Temple and from Mui. Well, guess what? The Shaolin Short Strike Classic which is the 1850s Wing Chun referred to, is indeed related to Song San. Is indeed related to Song San. And that Shaolin Short Strike Classic has been researched by Tang Hao, the, uh, the, the, the Chinese hist- uh, martial art historian who lived in the early 1900s. Now, so, what Grandmaster write here, uh, the Wing Chun is from Shaolin, 
Song San Sao Lin has a base, and this guy, this grandmaster, is keeping pushing the Sao Lin uh, from Fujian. What is he doing? This book was written decades after Grandmaster Yip Man passed away. Now, that is clearly, okay, that is clearly an attack. Not to mention that China, in the Chinese, uh, we have a saying saying that 人死为大. You respect people who have already passed away. Now, this guy can question, say, hey, you know, uh, Grandmaster Yip Man saying that uh, Wing Chun is from Shaolin, Song San Shaolin. Is that proper? My evidence show this, this, this. But this is not the way how to write things. Okay? So, does this guy who write this book know what the heck about Wing Chun? Of course he doesn't know. Okay? Now, and months ago, due to this thing, I was in a forum, and then uh, people who is taking this this side is saying this. You guys, Wing Chuna, don't even know, don't even know when uh, Yip Man was born, and how they are using the Ming Dynasty and the Qing Dynasties, a uh, uh, Chinese classic, to support yourself. And uh, so no wonder Wing Chun scam artist is all around the world. Well, this is the problem. Does all these people have any clue on what is Wing Chun? As we, we talk about here. the timeline, the uh, identity, and the uniqueness. None of those people know what the heck is going on, but just because of they using their fame to pushing their belief without evidence and try just want to stuff whatever heck they believe uh, into the, 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 the public on Wing Chun. Okay? And people, of course, in Asia, oh, this is the very famous uh, grandmaster. And people say, yeah, he's right, he's right. Bullshit, okay? This, again, speak without evidence. It's just about a few uh, years ago. The China, China, okay, the China Fujian White Crane is writing this very distorted thing, saying that... Uh, it is the white crane from Fujian uh, 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 supporting the Taiping uprising. And then after they lost, they uh, fleet and then uh, in, in, in Canton and they change their name and then they change the, the name white crane Wang Chun into Wing Chun. Well, this is also nonsense. Okay, why? As I wrote in the article, sorry, we have our identity, we have our uniqueness, we know exactly when we, uh, we are uprising. So, this is in one of their museums, okay, in the China. Now, furthermore, there are a lot of so-called YouTube researchers went to China and then interview people, say, in the white crane of Fujian and so forth, and then start to, 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 to pushing the, the, the idea of uh, Wing Chun is from white crane Wing Chun, uh, uh, like this type of stuff. So, this is a mess, like an uh, outsider pushing their idea on Wing Chun. Seriously, after I watch all of this, the so-called Kung Fu Grandmaster lost my respect completely. Prior to this, I heard who, you know, even though I don't know them, I heard, oh, this is the Grandmaster of this, that is the Grandmaster of that, and that is uh, all respectable people. 
and then oh Fujian White Crane, you know, all this is respectable people and so forth. But after I seeing this, what are you guys doing? You guys talk without evidence and then you just make up your story left and right, try to stuff that thing in the public and you expect the Wing Chuners to take it? Well, you know what? That is not the ancient Chinese culture. Ancient Chinese culture that is called Ji Jue Si Ji Fei Guo. Okay, this is an ancient teaching. So what does it mean? It means that if you see a country which have already fall down and the culture uh, is uh, in a very bad position, you want to help them so that they can recover their culture and recover their country. Well, all, evidently, all these things is not try to help Wing Chun. All this thing is stepping on Wing Chun, not following this ancient Chinese culture, and this is taking advantage also because Wing Chun is popular. So, one time I was uh, having a conversation of a researcher who went to China and then uh, talking about this uh, white crane Wing Chun of Fujian and the Wing Chun, uh, our Wing Chun. And I told him that Wing Chun is from Shaolin Short Strike. Right away, the researcher jumped gun into, Oh, Short Strike, are you mean that Wing Chun is from the, uh, the, the, the uh, Praying Mantis Short Strike? How can it be? Blah, blah, blah. I look at him, I tell him that. Can you please check on what the heck are you talking about before you, you, you make comments? Guess what? The return is, Oh, you must be jealous of me. I am, uh, I went to China to research. This is called bullshit. Do you know what is the difference between the, uh, Praying Mantis Short Strike and Shaolin Short Strike? So you have plenty of this expert out there, okay? Not to mention that in the past few decades, there's some Western uh, researcher which is adding uh, Taiji and all this thing. So only a few days ago, another friend in Europe tell me, well, Hendrik, now I know the uniqueness. I know the identity. I know the salutation. You know what? I'm wasting all my 20, 30 years learning Wing Chun. Today, uh, Wing Chun is Wang Chun. Tomorrow, Wing Chun is White Crane Wing Chun. And then, uh, the, the day after that, uh, uh, Wing Chun is uh, Black Flag Wing Chun. And all around for 20 years, but I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. This is a Sifu who told me this. Okay? So that's how bad it is. Do you know what the heck you're talking about? So... Do you do this? You know, this is in book. Now, I am not uh, in any way related to uh, Grandmaster Yip Man or Bruce Lee. But hey, anybody, when they look at this, will say, man, this is not right, man. That's why I make video by evidence to show all the so-called Grandmaster what is Wing Chun. And to answer all these questions. We know when and where. We know the person. We know the salutations. We know the anti ching identity. We know the uniqueness. So, I make the video here. You can check it out in my, uh, in my channel. So that thing has to be cleaned up, okay? So if one do not practice Wing Chun, one do not have any idea on what is Wing Chun, why bother talk? Be professional. That's why I'm saying Asia is collapsed now. Why? If the Asia so-called Grandmaster and uh, and all those uh, history, the, the the museum, everything cannot get things straight. There is no Chinese culture there on Wing Chun. By evidence, okay, 
We want to speak professional by evidence. It's not like, oh, because my fist is bigger than you, uh, let's uh, talk uh, uh, with your hand, not talk with your mouth. This is his story, okay? I'm in America. I'm American. I don't buy into those, okay? His story is his story. Show evidence. That's the only way to get everybody to, uh, to be able to, to proceed. Not just because of you are richer, you are more powerful, then you go try to change the history. Okay? At least I know in America, we don't buy into those kind of nonsense. So that's why in America, we have the uh, USA Wing Chun technology. Okay, we need to start a new volume. Forget about the Asia. You know, it's, it's all this screw up stuff. How can you answer to Xi Xiaotong when you have all those screw up stuff where it doesn't add up? And then you have this uh, a fake expert putting their five cents in to, to add in more screw up. Okay, so that's why we have this transfer to, uh, to, to United States. We know that Wing Chun, okay, Wing Chun consists of three things. The Shaolin Short Strike, which is for fighting, the Er Mei Shi Zhuang, which is for body conditioning, and there are a small part of White Crane Wing Chun. This is not the main. The main is Shaolin Short Strike, Er Mei Shi Zhuang, not the, uh, the, 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 the uh, White Crane from Fujian. Okay. The proportion of this can be seen in the 1850s writing of Wing Chun Classic. So again, the 1850s Xu Lin Tao set is a platform consists of two elements. This is a major element. The two elements are the body conditioning for health and strengthening the body and fighting impulse momentum. And you know that impulse momentum is uh, from Shaolin, short strike. The uh, body conditioning is from Ermei. And there are some uh, elements of the, uh, the, the, the Fujian white crane. Okay. And that's how it is, as I show in the Wing Chun matrix. You have the short strike, Shaolin, short strike, Ermei, Se Zhuang, and then you add, there are some some white crane Fujian come in. Okay, this is a timeline. Okay, now. So this book is on the Shaolin Short Strike and it have uh, shared a little bit on the, 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 the very minor thing which is at from the Fujian white crane. This is for the Ermei Se Zhuang. This is the basic which is including the uh, the uh, Shaolin short strike and the breathing. Okay, breathing is here. Now, we have this technology clear in United States. That's why we need to have a new volume. Okay. And uh, Asia Kung Fu Grandmaster must shut up on their nonsense. Okay. In USA, we have the history, evidence, and technology. So, so this is what it is. We speak with evidence. So, start here in the United States. We need to start fresh. Respect the past. Reform for a better future. The other day, I just uh, speak with a few Wing Chun friends who are Sifu, who are old timer, who are, uh, practice, have been practicing Wing Chun for 30, 40 years. I told them, we need to let go of all this type of history. Okay? We need to let go of all this type of history. We need to follow what is by evidence we can prove. Okay? The evidence by history, facts, and so forth. And uh, we need, of course, to respect our own lineage and our own Sifu. 
they might tell us wrong thing or a distorted thing on the history, but they don't know too, right? We're not going to blame on people who don't know. They very likely are victims of victims. So we need to let that go, okay, and reform for a better future. Past is past, okay. Uh, next volume. Now we start a new volume. Whatever which is good in Wing Chun, we continue on, we grow it based on history, facts, and evidence, and scientific evidence. Whatever in the past, you know, your Sifu say this, your lineage say this, you know, we know it, you say, okay, uh, this is what they, they say at that time, what they think, but historically, that is not what it is, and we pass. The point is not to, to, to push at, say, your grandfather tell you something, the moon is, uh, is, uh, is flat. Say the moon is flat, you say the grandfather tell us. We today say, know that uh, the moon is not flat. But we are not going to push the, uh, our grandfather to the edge because, you know, grandfather born in their time. They don't even have educations. Well, what are we supposed to do? We have to have compassion with them and say, okay, I understand. Now we found out a better way and let's do a better way. And you still give credit to the grandfather because without the grandfather, where the hell are you? Without the milk of the, 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 the grandfather, the father, where are we? So we need to be, to be, uh, to be really uh, humane and be professional. Uh, looking forward, looking to the future, grow better. Not get back into those, you know, like attacking this guy, attacking that guy, like, uh, like over here. What, what is Wing Chun got to do with all this grandmaster anyway? Nothing, zero. Why are they attacking uh, uh, Wing Chun and, and, and uh, attacking Wing Chun grandmaster? So, so, so we don't do that. We reform for our future. Now, for those in Asia say that I'm a traitor. Yes, I'm a traitor. My anti Qing ancestor are traitor too. To the Qing. Okay? So our ancestor, my ancestor in the red boat, a traitor too. In a uh, traitor because we are against the Qing. Okay? And the Hong Seng Chai Le Fa, we all are traitor to the Qing, Qing dynasty. Okay? The Qing government. I rather to be a traitor who take the people's side for everybody's good. Every lineage of Wing Chun, every grandmaster, as what I said, respect them. Flip the chapter. Start a new volume. We need to help each other because people from outside there, they are not going to help Wing Chun. They're going to step at Wing Chun. They step at your grandmaster, they step at you. As soon as you don't have any evidence, they're going to step at you. So, Wing Chun need to unite and help each other to grow. That is the only solution. So, I hope that start in the United States of America, we start everything fresh, clean, by evidence, be professional. Whatever Asia want to do, they can do whatever they want to do. But uh, we need to live in a clean way that we are truth, honest on whatever we know to the maximum. Only this way we can stand tall. So this is what i like to share with you on the history of Wing Chun. I tell you here on the screw up on the uh, history not to blame on the past. It's just to tell you that here on, very careful. You need to know about the signature. Okay? We need to know about the signature. We need to know about the signature. That is a must. And as soon as everybody have in our mind about the signature, 
you always ask when and where. And then the identity, the salutations, and the uniqueness. So I put this out here. Why? Because uh, I want you uh, to convert you to my lineage. No, I never talk about lineage. I talk, talk about Wing Chun. So start in America. I, I really sincerely hope that everybody know about this, the uniqueness. We know the salutation. Everybody can go use it, okay? It got nothing to do with lineage. At least we are in the same uh, level as Hong Sing Choi Le Fat. We have all the uh, signature we need to justify our identity, our art, our history. So uh, this is what I like to share with you all. And uh, I open this up to the world because this is what I go through and uh, this is what I see. And I just hope that every Wing Chun lineage progressing in a good way and be successful.